Bush and Kerry are going on Dr. Phil. This is how it should be, in my opinion. You know, we should be looking into the psychological state of these two guys if they're going to be president. The guys will probably come out fine. The wives, another story. Laura Bush, if Dr. Phil can crack that wall, those smiling eyes are the Christian fundamentalists, you know? <laughs> it's funny when you pronounce Christian correctly, but still, you, you get the point. Then Teresa Kerry, who speaks seven languages, eight if you count bitch. Um, well, I, you should have seen what I say on the live show. Uh, well, this is the first time we've had two candidates that were whipped by their wives. I'll give them that much. I'll tell you who needs to be the next Dr. Phil family is Lindsay Lohan's family. Her father, Lindsay Lohan's father, got arrested again last night for fighting at scores. Are you telling me nobody has offered this guy a reality show? If anyone fits the description of today's... TV ready in today's culture. It's that moonbeam, you know what I'm saying? Because he's got all the qualifications to be a star today. He's not an actor, but he's connected to somebody who's accomplished. He gets arrested all the time. He's got anger issues and a drinking problem, you know? And you know he's already got TV experience. He's probably been on Cops four or five times. Baby, I'm wearing my black karate shirt, baby. So what's up? Bush and Kerry. Bush and Kerry meet tomorrow night for the first of three presidential debates. 18% of voters surveyed say they may change their vote based on how well the two candidates do. Predictions, anyone? I think George Bush would be fine as long as he sticks to using words that only have one or two syllables. <laughs> That's a good tip. You know, he, I got a couple tips. One for each. You know, once Bush answers a question... Please speak louder. I've never heard you speak this low. <laughs> it's disconcerting. After Bush answers the first question, he should look into the camera and go, Mission accomplished. <laughs> and, and Kerry should keep his uh, answers shorter than the length of his face. <laughs> I think that we are... Whoa, oh, you that was controversial, it. huh? Oh, you yeah. mean, I'm just saying, that, like, they got all these different rules for, like, it's, it's a debate. It's like, that's technically, like, an argument. So, I mean, I'm right. questioning that they had these kind of rules when, like, I'm arguing about why I came in late. You know, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> like, why are you late? Well, we can't address each other. Uh, that's one. And I need to be this high off the ground <laughs> yeah. to address you. Break out the Robert's Rules of Order. Yeah, that's what it is. I think you're right. It's too many rules. They're taking away the fun of it. No props, no this. They should do it on MTV. Have Funk, Max, the Flex, MC, the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a... <laughs> <laughs> Just do it. Have it fun, because the youth are going to be the ones that's going to watch it. Have, like, Pimp My President. Something that you... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know all these hip terms. It's, uh, uh, the kids today. I can't, believe, I can't believe all the rules that they've made for the debate. Debate. It's yeah. unbelievable. I mean, they, they could just sum all the rules up into one simple rule, which would be no debating. <laughs> it's ridiculous. They're not even allowed it's to look at each other. It's yeah. Or answer questions that, or question each other. It's that's typical of our society. You know, it's 32 pages of bullshit that, uh, just to protect these idiots. Seriously. Well, on, on CNN, sure. they were showing their facial expressions. It's a I lot mean, more straight. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> on CNN, they were, they were showing their, all their facial expressions, what they meant, and, uh, you know, it was so annoying, like, that meant Bush is really confident. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> like, like, what the was on they, CNN. Yeah, CNN, they showed all the facial expressions. Yeah, that's what they do now. They have all these stupid shows where it's like, oh, that body language means this. <laughs> <laughs> well, what does that body language mean? He hurt his back? <laughs> He's got a little excited. He's giving himself a little bit. He's got a gun. He's packing. He's packing some heat. The face and that don't match. That's not even his body. That's not fair. He's got three purple hearts and something else that's purple. Hey. No, no, no. That's not even his body, though. They just stuck his head on Barnaby Jones. Yeah, it is. He's flip-flopping. That's a ketchup bottle in his pants. He said he's flip-flopping. He keeps changing bodies. I wish he'd make up his body. Look at Bush. Looks like oh, he's no. got a fever. He's sickly. <laughs> and that's really him. Let's talk about Detroit. <laughs> Detroit! Let's talk about Detroit is planning a city-funded business district called African Town. That's what Detroit is, African Town. <laughs> <laughs> Made up of black-owned businesses because the black community feels immigrants from Mexico to Asia are stealing their jobs and resources. Good, now they can rob each other. <laughs> I think it's good that... Well, yeah. You think and I say it, you're welcome. 
And it won't be in Detroit anytime soon. Uh, well, I think it's good that blacks and whites are... <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. I think it's good that black people and white people are finally coming together in the name of complaining about immigrants taking jobs that neither of us want to begin with. I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to tell you what, here's what it's... Here's what it's all about. It's all about this. Like everybody, every ethnic group has come to the black neighborhood and made money except for us. We never made money in our own damn neighborhood. We've never wait, wait. made money in our own neighborhood. And that's the problem. So we need a place where we can do it. We, we used to have Muslim stores uh, in Philadelphia. I know we had the Muslim stores. But that stuff was so high priced, you, I couldn't mess with them like that. You go in there, you're like, how much for a box of Captain Crunch? $8.50? Damn. $8.50 for Captain Crunch? You haven't, you, haven't, you haven't been making money in your neighborhood. You've been making it in our neighborhood coming in taking our stereos and reselling them don't tell our, me yeah resell them to who the Italians who stole my place I don't think I don't think <laughs> Black people don't want the jobs that the Mexicans and the Asians and immigrants are getting anyway. The jobs that we want, we can't get. So why that's not? not the complaint right but there. Because like yesterday, ways, washing though. dishes, first of all, I don't know anybody that's in a hurry to go wash dishes. I don't even like washing dishes at home. Well, you so don't get paid. Well, well, Beckos, Beckos either way. You know how hard it is for a Chinese guy to get a job at Foot Locker? <laughs> There's no way he can compete. That's easy. That's what I, there's no way he has the same passion for athletic I footwear. He, what I don't understand is how we got off the subject. What? The subject is that they're opening stores saying that they can have these jobs. Let me get it. It's not about like taking jobs. This is about well, businesses. It's right. it, that, that's what it is. It's, it's a business. But I'm saying that's what I'm saying. Everybody who's come through the black neighborhood, uh, well, right. And what we're saying is, what is that? Just, is that racism or is that black people's fault? That's the. I, I put it on. I put it on black folk because it's look. It's a free buffet. I don't need the white man fixing my plate. I fix my own damn plate. So what? What I, I would just go for <laughs> making my own. Get the own businesses, and you don't have to call it African town. That's, that's, it's just, that's, that's the whole thing. That's, don't signify what it is. Just be racist. That. Call it. Right Seven mile. I think they're just trying to. <laughs> hey, why can't we call it eight mile? <laughs> oh Jesus! What about this? What are you guys gonna do though? You're not gonna be able to harass those Koreans like you like to do when you walk in the store. Well, well how much oh, is it? Damn, damn, two fifty. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on. Koreans harass us. <laughs> oh, Koreans yeah. harass us, and those damn Arabs harass us. Damn Arabs. I can't. You can't say Arab. You can't say. I Arab. say Arab. We say it all the time. It's it's Arab. Arab. supposed to say Arabian. No, no. okay. <laughs> <laughs> we say you go to the Arab store. I don't store. understand why you want to have like a, a black community that 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 buys and sells to each other and excludes other races. The other races have the money. Why do you want to? to if I open a donut shop, I'm not going to target anorexics. You want to go where the money is. <laughs> But here's, the point. No, here's the point, though. The point is, the black community has money, but it's going to Italian stores. Well, no, Irish people have stores. It's going to rim stores. We have bars. It's all going to we'll basketball right shoes. <laughs> well, this show is like a dynasty. You, you hold it, and then you hand it off to the next person. And I don't want to see all the fighting and all, and who's better, and nasty things back and forth in the press. So right now, here it is. Conan, it's yours. See you in five years, buddy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we, all know, we all know how good the network's word is, by the way. You know, five years ago, somebody is. else comes along and be like finished. A dynasty. You, you know, hold it that long. Call now, Andy Richter. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first person what? to call Conan now. Andy Richter. Oh, yeah. Andy Richter. Five good point. Man. Uh, the movie careers are paying up. Yeah, uh, come on, man. How are you, you going to do that? How are you going to just get this guy? It's like, oh, you hold it years, then you hand it off to the next white guy who bugs everybody. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're right. They you one more for so far. No, just, I mean, but the same, well, it's the same white guy. He's just taking one head, putting on the other, and he just like, uh, uh, one really big <laughs> head. <laughs> Come on, man. Are you trying to say there's a robotic too. mannequin quality to our people? No, I, I'm saying you would, you big guy. I want you up for it. I would like you to be a Thanks one of the Thanks for saying that, guys. but really, I couldn't. Right. And I'm going to announce this right now. You're right. After this, I'm going to let you host a BET show. Thank you. <laughs> In 10 years. Well, in 10, 10 years, I'm hosting these. Correct. Thank you. <laughs> Things were looking good. You had to throw 10 years in. <laughs> Damn it. Reality shows like Survivor and The Apprentice always seem to feature a black character that acts crazy or disruptive. <laughs> they always tripping, in other words. Now, case in point, The Apprentice had Omarosa last year, and Trump already fired this season's crazy black woman, Stacey J. Take a look. 
Stacey Meeks led us to believe that there could be possibly a second personality to Stacey, literally. Why is no one listening over here? Stacey J did act very odd. I was so scared. I had to hide in a corner. I'm not sure if this is something clinical, but it was the, one of the most scary moments of my life. I was absolutely horrified. You guys are blowing this all out of proportion. I mean, I'm not crazy. That's the bottom line. I'm not crazy. So the question is, why they got to do the sister like Sojourner Truth? This has been going on. This has been going on for years. This yeah, has been going. Called, on. That's why it's called the reality show. No, the well, 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 let me say it. Hold on. Hold on. Forget this reality stuff. Let me tell you, I've seen this for years. Even in the Star Wars episodes, that's going on. <laughs> Darth Vader, when he's good, he's white. Soon as he puts the helmet on, he comes James Earl Jones. He's black. <laughs> You're a genius, kid. You figured it all out. That is, uh, and, and if they didn't give James Earl Jones the job, you'd be crying racism. They gave him a job. You can't have it both ways. Yes, he hi. Voice, he made it out of dog. They got to stop. They got to stop calling it reality television anyway, because everybody on these shows look exactly the same. You mean to tell me only attractive people can run businesses? Come on now. That's right. There are no fat people. There are no attractively challenged people that are smart. When I was in high school, all the people that knew stuff. Weren't attractive. That's right. All the attractive people were too busy getting laid. You That's can't right. know. You mean to tell me all, the only people that can run businesses or Wait survive? Plus, what no, about this guy, on, Bill Rancic? He won last year, good looking guy. You see him in New York at every party. He's supposed to be running a construction place in Chicago. You're a hard town. That you know, son of a bitch is never even there. In the same instance, you've never seen an attractive cafeteria lady. Yeah. So, <laughs> it depends well, what you're into. Are you going to tell me Bill Gates? Right? Why are you That's going after Bill Gates? Are you going to tell me Bill Gates isn't a piece of ass? Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs>